and <laughs> welcome back to Kaiserreich. Dankest hour. Hopefully we can take over America. If we don't, well then, I still think, I still think Mr. Lovecraft, he, he deserves an applause. I still don't know how he managed to take over America, so you, you have to give him that. Things kind of look terrible right now. We can just hope that Canada's nice and gives us all of our claimed states. It'd be kind of weird if they just annex Northern America. I would not appreciate that, but there's really nothing we can do. We can only hope that our Canadian overlords are good overlords. <laughs> Will Canada be nice and give us control of some stuff? Maybe Montana? Oh, they accepted, yes! Yes, our rightful land. Oh, there's nothing in Montana, <laughs> whoops. There's actually a lot of stuff here in Washington. Yeah, of course. What's going on? What? Commander skill, entrenchment, air support. Well, I'm extremely casually just training all my, you know, divisions while they're s sitting on the front line. Maybe not the best idea, I'm kind of retreating every here and there, but... I don't know, I, d I need better divisions somehow. At least the syndicates are about to take Chicago back again so I can declare war on them. Which may be a terrible thing, honestly, but... Eh, y y some, some things just gotta be done to maybe m even it out. Maybe give the American Union state a chance to come back. <laughs> We're now at war with Japan, too. Unfortunately, they decided to get involved in this war and this other war. They're pretty much at war with everybody, but they're very powerful too, so they can't be underestimated. Okay, whether for better or for worse, we're now at war with the syndicates. Just, you know, invade as much as we can while we still can. I, I, it's probably a pretty bad idea. We'll let France and Canada might decide to join randomly. Oh, Canada instantly took control of all this stuff. Okay, I guess we can call them into the war. Hopefully the American Union state can hold on for a little bit longer too. Because I think things are overall going de decently. Our war efforts are kind of like a good 5 out of, or 6 out of 10 maybe, I don't know. We're not losing yet, so <laughs> that's okay. Oh, whoa, haha. <laughs> we need to hold on to Ohio. Wow, that is, that's a lot of industry. That's 10 military factories in this one state. I bet there's a lot of factories. Yeah, there has to be a lot of factories in Detroit. I don't know if Canada will able will be able to seize Detroit though. Maybe could we take Washington? That would be Washington isn't the isn't incredibly good, but it would be an amazing victory to take the capital. Okay, and we have a light tank. Okay, one tank. Can we take Washington DC with it? It's kind of confusing because this is Washington and this is Washington. Yeah, th that might get confusing. I'll call. I'll just call this the capital. Yeah, tank down to the capital. Do we have any Panzer leaders? Armor speed. Oh, we actually do. Nice. Here we go. Washington's ours. How many more military factories? Oh, six more. That's good. That's just giving us even more of an advantage over the syndicates. Okay, so the syndicates are now actually closer to capitulating than the Union states. And the Pacific States, of course, they still have all their core territory and stuff. So, the problem is, is that the Union State has a lot more war score than us, so the only thing we can really do to avoid them becoming really powerful is to also declare war on them too, so then they we don't get in the same peace deal or anything. But more important, importantly, it allows us to seize New York City. Which, it could maybe be slightly a problem if they capitulate, but that's not really too big of a deal, I don't think. With very limited tanks, it's pretty hard to get encirclements, but we actually managed to get one right near Pittsburgh. Let's hurry and invade New York. The Blitzkrieg of New York City. Let's let France in. They probably want to do some invasion memes or something. Thinking of being, you know, a little sneaky, because if we have a naval invasion and then we just run, they have to have someone garrisoning Richmond is the problem, but we could naval invade here and then just run into Richmond, but I don't think, I think we have to get like another city like Columbus or Indianapolis or just remembered about Detroit. Uh, if we can get Detroit, 
I'm actually going to deploy my tanks here, even though they're not completely finished, because if we can get Detroit and Richmond, it will be over. Wait. John F. Kennedy, what the memes? Ha ha ha. Okay, we're going on the offensive again, because a lot of their troops got distracted by this French naval invasion. The French have thrown so many divisions away by just continually naval invading, but I guess we better take advantage of the distraction while we can. Maybe encircle some divisions here. Oh, we maybe we could encircle Detroit. That's... that could work. <laughs> maybe. Hopefully they don't take Chicago back. Oh, that's actually bad. Oh, the Union State is making some moves, too. They might actually connect their territory. We have to take Detroit and Richmond, though, before the syndicates get Charleston back. We're gonna take it. Wow. This could end it. This could end things right here. We've been... I did this encirclement kind of as a distraction. They invested a lot of troops, but there it is. Is that... is that it? No. No, what? What's their new capital? And where, where's another core state? Louisville, maybe Frankfurt? Oh. Okay, I was worried there that the game crashed. Uh, well, I guess it's time to fight the Union State. They don't have that many divisions. They have less divisions than us, most likely. Oh, we actually own all this now, so it's kind of automatic. That's good. So that means Canada can't do any memes against us. And I sent Canada a bunch of free convoys, so now we can become an autonomous puppet. And then nominal puppet. And then maybe one day free. <laughs> and I guess they can't steal. Yeah, they're, they see. Look, we have all of our steel back now. Soviets are finally almost done once again. Germany is reenacting World War One. We are we making good progress. I think victory is nearly assured. Those early moves paid off, and now we're just fighting out, fighting it out. I was kind of hoping another event would fire for this again, but it looks like it's actually a peace deal. Ah, please, please don't take anything. Okay, good. Phew. Okay, we're in the end. We're in. This is. This is it. We have more- alone we have more divisions than them, so... With the help of the entire Entente, this should be easy. Let's just reorganize things and then... Get ready for the final battle.
Sicilies joined us, the Entente. I guess we are the same ideology as two Sicilies, but... Uh, that's cool, the Entente is kind of in a bad situation, though. We're at war with a lot of people. And soon to be at war with... We'll be at war with France soon, because... Other France is at war with France. Why does Canada want Colorado? Why? <laughs> Porter Gore, uh, we'll, we'll defeat Canada. So who, what we need is Utah and Northern Car and Northern California to form America. That's all we need. Utah, Northern California. So as long as no one takes it, there we go. And America is ours. Why? Why did you want that? It, we, we almost had everything. It was almost perfect. And they take, well, anyway, I think we're still, we're still able to reform the United States. We have finally brought peace and freedom, kind of, <laughs> to this land. It was hard, but we had the help of the glorious Entente, which we are now the strongest member, even though we're a puppet, and I guess we can't actually raise our autonomy anymore, so we might forever be a puppet. And I guess Mexico's at war with Canada, that's exciting. Oh, is, are they in the Third International? Yeah. Guess let's prepare for a war in Mexico, too! Yay! We want to end the war in Japan and then betray the Entente, right? Because unless they give us this back, Colorado or war! <laughs> I guess do we, we probably get a core state on Colorado and then they'll give it back to us, right? On the end of the Second American Civil War, the dust has finally settled, and it seems that the only faction left standing in the Civil War is New England. We will need to take up the flag of America and rebuild what is left. May the likes of MacArthur, Long, Long, Reed, and, and all the rest rot in hell for the chaos they ravaged upon America's legacy of freedom. It's finally over. Well, look at that. Look what they gave back. Thank you, Canada. Canada, you, you've done us a good one right there. Now just free us. <laughs> I know I said we would be fine if you just gave us that bag, but I really want my freedom. <laughs> and from the ashes, yes, from the literal ashes. What shall come of the blasted remains of old America, the fallen states? War came like a cleansing fire out of the brush of this continent, to remind the descendants of those who founded this great Colombian Republic of their destiny. All the arrogant and arbitrary extremes of American political life have been silenced, and in the battle royale of America's second civil war, one man stands triumphant. Providence, what grand, terrifying dream he has, sun-drenched glimpses of magic and splendor, wondrous marble gold cities built on the ruins of crawling chaos that came before them, and damn those who would stand in his way. A fire shall be woken. Okay, political power, lose stability, which we're doing fine. New England, oh wait, we removed their puppet, yes! But yeah, we'll be known as the one and only United States of America, and a nice cool green color, but we're free from Canada's rule too. We now stand together as friends rather than subject, yes. And I think we can go back down to extensive conscription, probably, considering we have, like, seven million manpower. <laughs> That's a little unnecessary. And the flag of Lovecraft's America. Now that the United States have been united under the guiding hand of Providence, there is some debate over whether a new flag ought to be unveiled for the country. Many of Lovecraft's loyalists see the flag of the old fallen states as an object of wickedness, and the fall of America. We could continue to use Lovecraft's personal sigil, the Elder Sign, on a sanguine field. Others su suggest mixing the Elder Sign with the flag of the fallen states to symbolize the nation's revival under Lovecraft's protection. So, this sign, a new American Elder Sign circle or a new American Elder Sign shield. Let's go with the shield. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. And a new national capital. Now that the United States have been reconstituted under the rule of Providence, should the government return to the Imperial Capital or remain in Rhode Island? Or perhaps a more central move is in order. Definitely not St. Louis, I'm sorry, it's a good idea to have a capital towards the middle of your country, but uh, Washington DC or Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island is quite the meme with like, you know, what's going on, but. Washington DC is like the historical capital and we need to provide more like legitimacy to this government It'd be kind of weird for the capital to be there It's already weird enough that the capital's all the way on this coast, but Let's go with Washington DC. There we go 
more legitimacy to our rule, because I bet many people are skeptical about this already. Southern Reconciliation. Providence has long looked for favor on the- Oh no. Oh. Why? Why? Close historical study. Finds nothing but honor, ch chivalry, and patriotism. Are you sure about that? And yes, they're useful, or no. 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 We- we-, we <laughs> I think that's about it for today. We've reestablished the United States of America, which was no easy task, but it was it was fun. I've enjoyed it. Lovecraft, I guess, rules. No, <laughs> what a meme. I guess this is like dankest hour. So what do you expect? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to like and subscribe, and see you guys next time.